Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel NCRT Maths with Vardhi. Today we are going to start exercise number 3.5 of chapter 5 that is pair of linear equations in two variables of grade 10. So the first question is which of the following pair of linear equations has unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions. In case there is a unique solution, find it by using cross multiplication method. So in this question we have to use two different concepts of this chapter. The first one was I have already explained in the introduction video under the topic graphical method of solving pair of linear equations. In that topic we already know that if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then the pair of linear equations will have infinitely many solution. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equals to c1 by c2 then we will have no solution. But in case a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 then we will have unique solution. So first we will apply this concept to check our given pair of linear equation comes under which category. In case it has unique solution then we will use our method of cross multiplication to solve the given pair. So let's start. Our first pair of equations are given to us. Whenever we need to check whether the given pair is having unique solution, no solution or infinitely solution then always make sure that right hand side should be 0. If not make it 0. In our case this is already 0 so we can start here a1 is coefficient of x. So this is a1 is 1. b1 is minus 3. c1 is also minus 3. a2, b2 and c2. So a2 is 3. b2 is minus 9. And c2 is minus 2. Okay, so now we will find the ratios that is a1 by a2 is 1 over 3. Okay, so b1 by b2 is minus 3 over minus 9. If you simplify this again we are getting 1 by 3. Okay, so next is c1 by c2. This is minus 3 by 2. So what we have found is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. But if this does not equal to C1 by C2. So this comes under the category of no solution. So we will write since A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 but not equals to C1 by C2. Therefore, given pair has no solution. Okay? So we are done with this part because the second part says that if it is a unique solution only then we should solve this by cross multiplication method. So this is our first part. Now let's see the second one. So let's see our second part. This pair is given to us but right hand side has constant term. So what should be my first step? To shift these terms to left hand side so that right hand side should be 0. So you can say given equations are 2x plus y minus 5 equals to 0. So 3x plus 2y minus 8 equals to 0. Okay. So now we will find the value of a1, a2, b1, b2 and c1, c2. So what is a1? This is 2. a2 is 3. b1 is 1 b2 is 2 and c1 is minus 5 this is minus 8. So now we will find the ratios. So what is a1 by a2? This is 2 by 3. What is b1 by b2? This is 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is minus 5 over minus 8 so this is 5 by 8. So now we can see that a1 by a2 itself is not equals to b1 by b2. So this means it will have unique solution. So since 
a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 therefore this pair will have unique solution okay so now the second case is if there is a unique solution find it by using cross multiplication method so now let's find the solution so in this method we will write our variables x over then this is y over and 1 over okay so we will write b1 b2 here so this is 1 and 2 okay then c1 c2 so minus 5 minus 8 a1 a2 as 2 3 again b1 b2 as 1 2 so this method is already explained in the introduction video if you have any doubt please refer that video so now what we will do is x over cross multiply so cross multiplication always comes from this side to this side okay so first make arrow on this side multiply this that is 1 minus 1 into minus 8 next we will go this side that is minus of 2 into minus 5 then y over again on this side this is minus 5 into 3 okay minus of this thing okay so this is minus 8 into 2 right next is 1 over again 2 into 2 and then 3 into 1 i hope this step is clear so now let's solve this 1 into minus 8 is minus 8 minus minus is plus 5 so 5 into 2 is 10 here it is y over minus 5 into 3 minus 15 plus 16 and here this is 2 into 2 as 4 4 minus 3 again we will get minus 8 plus 10 is 2 so this is x by 2 y over 1 and 1 over 1 so after this step we will take our first and last term to find the value of x second and third term to find the value of y so let's take first and th third term therefore x by 2 is equal to 1 by 1 cross multiply and you will get the value of x as 2 clear now let's take second and third term this is also equal to 1 by 1 cross multiply and since everything is one you will get value of y as 1 so i hope second part is clear now let's see the next part so the third part is 3x minus 5 by equals to 20 so again since these equations has right hand side not zero so first we will make zero so this implies 3x minus 5 by this is shifted to other side minus 20 equals to zero. For second equation, 6x minus 10 by minus 40 equals to zero. So now we will find the values of a1, a2. This is 3 and 6. b1, b2 minus 5. Minus 10 and c1, c2 as minus 20, minus 40. So what should be my next step? Find their ratios. Therefore, a1 by a2 is equal to 3 by 6. This is 1 by 2. b1 by b2 is minus 5 over minus 10. So this is again 1 by 2. And C one C two is minus twenty over minus forty. After simplification, again we are getting this as one by two. So now what does this mean? A one by A two is equal to B one by B two is equal to C one by C two. This is this means that this pair will have infinitely many solutions. So we will write since. A one by A two is equal to B one by B two is equal to C one by C two. Therefore, this pair will have 
infinitely many solutions. So since they told us that if it is unique solution, then solve this by using cross multiplication. So since this is infinitely many solution, so we are done with this part. Now let's see the next one. So let's see our next part. So this pair is given to us since right hand side is already 0. So we can directly start with a1, a2. So a1 and a2 is coefficients of x that is 1, 3. b1, b2 is minus 3, minus 3. C1, C2 is minus 7 and minus 15. Okay. So let's find the ratios. A1 by A2 is 1 by 3. B1 by B2 is minus 3 over minus 3. After cancellation, we will get only 1 or 1 by 1, whatever you want. C1 by C2 is minus 7 by minus 15. Negative signs will be cancelled and we are with, left with 7 by 15. So now we can see a1 by a2 itself is not equal to b1 by b2. So this means this pair will have unique solution. So since a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, therefore this pair will have unique solution. And now since this has unique solution, so we should solve this by cross multiplication method. So let's start. We will write x equals to y over equals to 1 over. So first we will write b1, b2. This is 1, 1. No, sorry see b1 by b2 is 1 but b1, b2 is minus 3, minus 3. So don't get confused. Here we need to write the values separately, not their ratio. So it should be minus 3, minus 3. Then C1, C2, this is minus 7, minus 15. A1, A2 is 1, 3. And again B1, B2 is minus 3, minus 3. Okay. So now let's start cross multiplication. So first on this side, this is minus 3 into minus 15 minus of this thing. Okay, so minus 3 into minus 7, right? Next is y, again 7 minus 7 into 3 first, minus of this side, okay? So minus 15 into 1, I hope I am clear. So next 1 over, again 1 into minus 3. Next is this side. So at first this arrow, second time this arrow. That is 3 into minus 3. Okay. So now let's solve this. Minus 3 into minus 15 is 45 with positive sign because both terms are negative. Again minus minus is plus but this minus is already here. So 7 into 3 is 21. Next is y over. Minus 7 into 3 is again 21 with negative sign. Right? Minus minus plus 15. So this is plus 15. Next term is 1 over 1 into minus 3 is minus 3. Minus minus is plus. So 3 into 3 is 9. So next three is x over 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is 24. So x over 24. Now minus 21 plus 15. So this is how much? 6. With minus 6 because 21 is negative. Now 1 over minus 3 plus 9 is plus 6. So after this step what we will do? We will use first and third term to find the value of x. This implies x over 24 is equal to 1 by 6. Now cross multiply this, okay. So this implies x is equal to 24 over 6. So the value of x is 4, okay. So now we will use second and third term to find y. 
So y over minus 6 is equal to 1 over 6. Again cross multiplying. So this will go up. That is minus 6 over 6. After cancellation this is y is equal to minus 1. So I hope now you understood how to solve this type of question where we need to check first whether this pair will have unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solution. That we will check using the values of a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. Then we will decide that this pair will come under which category. If it is under unique solution, then we have used our cross multiplication method to solve this pair. So this is all about this video. If you like my teaching, please subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video with the next question of the same exercise. Thank you.